Hello guys, my name is Sumit and you are watching CTX Cloud. In our last video, we have created a primary VAM server. After that, um, we are going to create a secondary VAM server in this series. And after that, we are going to load balance both the VAM servers on the Netscaler. So, how you guys can do this step by step? So, primary server is already configured. You guys can watch my video in my VAM playlist. After that, I am going on my secondary VAM server. So, this is a clean server. It's a Windows uh, domain joint server and 2019 server. So, after that, you guys need to mount a Citrix ISO here. So, the ISO is Citrix VAM ISO. After that, you guys need to close open this folder and you guys need to install the Citrix VAM infrastructure service setup. So, click on this and run as administrator. So once it is installing, might be it will take one or two minutes to install. So if you guys like my video, so just go in on my video and like the video and put your comments in the comment section. Click on next, click on I accept, click on next, next, next and install. So as guys, you can see that I'm showing each and every step in front of you. So after that, you guys need to uncheck this and click on finish. So this is done. After that, you guys need to click on the start menu. Click on Citrix and VAM infrastructure service. So as we uh, load balance like our primary and secondary storefront, primary and secondary delivery controller. So in the same way, we are going to load balance our secondary VAM server. So for that, you guys need to click on load configuration. For load configuration, you guys need to give the First of all, your database server. So this is my database server. You guys can see that. So click on properties. I'm going to copy this server here. And you guys can see that VAMDB is here. So this is the database. So after that, you guys need to paste the same your uh, SQL server. After that, give the fully qualified domain name. So I'm going giving the fully qualified domain name of CTX SQL server 01. Uh, .ctxcloud.in and then you guys need to give the your database name so how you guys can find the database so go on your SQL server and you guys can see that so this my three database sites which I have created then the PBS database and this is the VAM database so it is VAMDB so I am giving the name is, here is VAMDB after that you guys need to check the ports so these are the default port i am not going to touch these ports click on advanced here you guys need to give the administrator account of your vam server so this is ctx cloud slash administrator and put password here after that you guys need to click on database i am not going to touch this and this is the uh, your a license server citrix license server so i am going to click on properties and i am going to paste the license server here so just paste the license server and click on load configuration so you guys can see that load broker configuration read is successfully click on ok and click on save configuration so once done click on yes after that you guys need to install the vam console here so I'm going to install this VAM console. Click on run as administrator. So it is geared like take, taking one or two minutes. Click on next. Click on I accept next, next, next in end then install. So you guys can see that my VAM console has been installed successfully. After that, I'm going to click on Citrix. Click on VAM console. So now I am going to connect this server. So my server name is CTX VAM SVR02 and click on connect. So it is reading the infrastructure services in the background. So now you guys can see that my secondary VAM server is also connected. So let me expand this. And you guys can see that all the options are available here. Also, so like I am going to show this is my primary VAM server and this is my secondary server, VAM server. So after that, 
in our next session we are going to i'm going on my net scalar one ctx cloud dot in so in our next session we are going to install load balance both the web servers on our net scalar so let me go here and you guys can see that so in our next session we will load balance both the web servers on our net scalar so this is the end of this video guys if you you like my video so just like the video and put your comments in the comment section so we will continue to work on this web and thank you thank you guys